Kaiser Lozier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Let's talk about the difference between sketch fillets and feature fillets. There's a basic difference. They both can be changed at any time, but I cannot change a sketch fillet to a chamfer, for instance, without going back and editing the original sketch. So let me show you here what I'm talking about. So I've got this sketch here. Uh, I've already got this thing extruded, actually. I'm just editing the sketch. And I've got sketch fillets on it. When I exit out of here and rebuild my model, I've got fillets on here. OK, fine. There, there they are. They're, they're um, half inch radius. And I can change those to any size I want easily. However, I cannot easily change to a chamfer. So if I have to go back and edit my sketch and delete the individual fillets. There we go. So now I want to join these back together. Well, I could just grab these and drag these over, but that's the hard way. Let's use trim entities here and we'll use the corner trim. Click a line, click a line, they're fixed. Click a line, click a line, they're fixed. That easy, okay? Corner trim is your friend. And okay, now let's make this back into a solid body. And now we'll, then we can put on chamfers or fillets and chamfers. So what I really need to do is make two configurations of this. Okay, so I have to go here and uh, <clears throat> go to properties and change the name of this, or I could have just slow double clicked, call this fillets and uh, okay and right click add a configuration call the chamfers all right so i got fillets and chamfers go back to fillets so if i put the fillets on features fillets fillet expert and uh, let's make that uh, half an inch and we'll pick the, the corners. Now, yeah, that's all of them right there. So I can just pick from, from the list right here and be done with it. Right click, I'm done. Handy dandy. So now if I want to put chamfers on this, all I've got to do is go to my chamfer configuration, suppress my fillets, which has already been done because I had the chamfers, the configurations made ahead of time. Worst case, they were active and I have to click and suppress them. Okay, no big deal. So I want chamfers. Well, okay. So chamfer, there we go. So what do I want? Uh, distance, distance, okay, fine. And we'll make those half an inch. And let's pick this corner. And uh, okay, okay, okay. And right through the model, right click, okay. So there we go, now I got chamfers. Let's go back here to the configurations, fillets chamfers, and I can change these all day long. If I started out and did not put the fillets on here in the first place, all I've got to do is make the configurations. Slow double click. Okay. And if I don't make the second configuration, then I've got to suppress it. If I make the second configuration, whatever I put in here, let me just go ahead and do that, chamfers. So whatever I put in in one of these will not be there in the other. Fillets and those, okay. Perfect, small, that don't care. All right, chamfers and uh, drop down, chamfer, pick, 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 pick. Oh yeah, let's make smaller ones of this one also. There we are, so now, Double click, double click. It's that quick, folks. Big difference in time-wise when you go to change things. If you're modeling something that's never going to change, piece of hardware you're buying from Ace Hardware, sketch fillets are your friend. If you're making something that's you're developing and it's going to be rev controlled, use feature fillets. This makes your life easier. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.